Right, team. Are we ready to go through some outdoor rescue drills? Oh, yes, Sam. I've got the floppy shovels. Well, we've certainly picked a busy day to do it. Hello, Trevor. Hello, Pioneers. What are you lot doing up in the mountains? Hello, 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 Hello Sam. Sam. I've brought the Ponty Pandy Pioneers up here to do their bushcraft badges. Ooh, that sounds great. What's bushcraft, Sam? It's learning how to survive in the woods and mountains, Elvis. Oh, I'd like to do that. Right then. I've lined up some expert help to get you through your bushcraft badges. Oh, I bet it'll be that bloke of the telly that makes his shoes out of twigs and twine. You mean Wolf Anderson. He's brilliant. I saw the one where he went whitewater rafting in crocodile-infested rivers. I really hope it is Wolf Anderson. Could I? Ah oh, no. It's Moose and Tom. Right, team. Let's go and pitch our tents. No, <laughs> no, no, Trevor. We're not going to use tents. We're not? No, we're going to make a bivouac. A bivou what? A bivouac. It's a shelter, and we're going to make it out of sticks, twigs and leaves. I'm going to get a wet bottom. I just know it. Don't you worry, Norman. You'll be bone dry in our bivouac. But what about all this? We'll find everything we need in the wild. Even food. So, uh, I'll have to leave the sausages behind then. All right, you can bring the sausages. Everything else we can find on the way. Ready, ho! Let us go! <laughs> Wouldn't it be great to be a Ponty Pandy pioneer? It would be marvellous, but you've been putting my foot out for the last five minutes. Oh, sorry, Sam. A new course record. Thanks, Penny. Is it my turn now, Sam? I love rescuing Dolly. <laughs> OK, Elvis. But remember, keep to the trail. It's quite easy to take a wrong turn. Don't worry about us, Sam. Me and Dolly will find the way. OK, then, Elvis. Ready? Oh, I am, Penny. Steady, go! <laughs> Come on, Dolly! Lesson one in bushcraft, building your bivouac. Ooh, Wolf Anderson can build one of those in two minutes flat. Well, so can we. Prove it. Yes, go on. I've got a stopwatch. Oh, uh, right, well, no worries. Yep, yeah, one bivouac coming right up in two minutes flat. Go! What? Uh oh Ta-da! <laughs> How long we take, James? Three hours and two minutes. Oh, oh, well, I suppose it wasn't too bad. It was three hours longer than Wolf Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I took a wrong turn. This way, Elvis. Oh, coming, Sam. Uh, bye. <laughs> Elvis would never have been able to knock down one of Wolf Anderson's bivouacs. No, Wolf Anderson makes really good ones. Uh, shall we go on to the next lesson, Tom? Uh, I think so, Moose. Ah, gotcha, Dolly. All right, team, bring me in. Roger, Roger that, Sam. <laughs> What are you doing, Elvis? Sorry, Penny, but I was just watching the pioneers. They've got sausages. Uh, can someone pull us in, please? Sorry, Sam. So, uh, bushcraft. Lesson two. When you're in the woods, you need to keep your food away from wild animals. So, Pioneers, how 
do we think we keep our sausages safe, eh? We could eat them. <laughs> well, that's one way, Norman. But let's imagine we want to save them for later, eh? Whoa! I've got an idea. <laughs> what is it, James? Don't let that fox run off with them. Thank you, James. So, how do we protect the sausages we got left? Wolf Anderson says that if you put your food up really high, wild creatures can't get to it. Does he now? Wha Whoa! Yes, James? The fox just took some more sausages. I know, James. We've only got five sausages left. I oh, know! Trevor, my bottom's wet. This is the worst camping trip ever. Right. The sooner we get the rest of these sausages hoisted up, the better. We need a bag and some rope. There you go, mate. Look! The fox is coming back! Quick, Moose! Pull! Pull! Woohoo! <laughs> that was a close one. Now the sausages are safe. Ooh! I'm not eating those. Bushcraft lesson three, camouflage. Oh, Wolf Anderson is really good at camouflage. He completely disappears. He won't be as good as me, Norman. You just watch this. That's right, Pioneers. Moose can melt into the shadows, become one with the trees. He's like the invisible man of the forest. There he is. Uh, not quite ready. Exactly invisible. Yeah, I, I think the best thing would be if you all turn around and Moose will merge with the wilderness. People don't have to turn around when Wolf Anderson gets into camouflage. Ready? Oh, he really has disappeared. Watch out, mate. I can hear a wasp. Oh, it's in my twigs. Don't make it angry, mate. Too late. Oh, yeah. I can see him. Okay, Penny. Activate the inflatable rescue path. Right, Elvis. Bring Dolly back. I'll keep the path steady. Poor Dolly's not having a very good day today, is she, Sam? <laughs> She'll be fine once she's been rescued, Elvis. Now off you go. I'm coming, Dolly. That's it, Elvis. Now keep your weight even. <sighs> got her, Sam. Bring her back, Elvis. Don't worry, Dolly. I've got you. Get off me! What's that? I think it's Moose in a camouflage suit, but I could be wrong. Whoa! Watch out! Oh, no! <sighs> I think I might need to rescue Dolly again, Sam. I think you're right, Elvis. Right! Lesson number four. Building a campfire. We're going to be making the biggest campfire you've ever seen. I bet it isn't. It will be, Norman. Just you wait and see. Well, we showed him there, mate. That is a big campfire. Wolf Anderson would never make anything as dangerous as that. <gasps> Those sparks are setting fire to the grass. And the grass is setting fire to the woods. Oh, no! Stand back, everyone. It's floppy shovel time. Fire on Sam! You two put out the smaller fires. I'll tackle the campfire. Pioneers, I need as much water as you can get. Now stand well back. Whew. All out. Well done, team. 
And well done, pioneers! You might not have got your bushcraft badges today, but you've certainly got your forest fire fighting badges, pioneers! I don't think our bushcraft course went very well, Tom. I thought it was rubbish! I think you were trying too hard to be as good as Wolf Anderson. Maybe we can just try and keep it simple. Why don't we all set up camp together? The perfect way to finish a day in the woods. Take it away, Trevor. We are the Ponty Pandy Pioneers. In a woman. We're bold and brave and have no time for fear. It's a woman. So give three very big and hearty cheers. Hip hip hooray for the good old Ponty Pandy Pioneers. In the woman. children. As part of Learn About Jobs Day, you will each spend the afternoon with someone and find out all about their jobs, including mine. Please don't let me get Mrs Chen. I heard that, Norman. <laughs> now, whoever goes with Mike will learn all about how to fix and repair things. Whoever goes with Joe will learn all about being a car mechanic. Whoever goes with Charlie will learn all about fishing. And, of course, whoever goes with Fireman Sam will learn all about emergencies and rescues. You'll even have your own fire helmet to wear. I've already chosen who will be going with whom. Aww. Please don't let me get Mrs Chen. Norman. Sorry, Mrs Chen. First, with Fireman Sam. Me, 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 me. Sarah. Brilliant. Oh. That is so unfair! Hannah, you'll be going with Charlie. Yes, I'm going out to sea. Mandy, you'll be going with Joe. Fantastic! Right, so it's just me and Mike Flood left. Please don't, Mrs Chen. Please don't, Mrs Chen. So, Norman, You'll be going with... Please not Mrs Chen! Please not Mrs Chen! Ponty Pandy's very own... Oh, the tension is killing me! Mike Flood. You! Ha ha, James! You got stuck with Mrs Chen! That's enough, Norman. Now, off you all go and learn as much as you can about people's jobs. Come on, firefighter Sarah. Let's start with a ride in a fire engine. Just going to put this ladder on the roof rack, Norman. You've got a cracking day ahead with me. I can't wait. This is going to be the best day. Oh, oh sorry, Norman. Right, Hannah. Lesson number one in being a fisherman. Knowing all the places you catch lots of fish. So, today we're heading out towards Ponty Pandy Island. You always get a good catch over that way. There seems to be a lot of seagulls about, Charlie. Ah, well, there must be a shoal of minnows nearby. Those seagulls do like a fishy snack. Looks to me like he's eyeing up your sausage sandwich, Charlie. I don't think you need to worry about that, Hannah. Uh, Charlie, he's definitely after your sausage sandwich. <laughs> No, Hannah. If there's one thing you learn when you're at sea, it's how all the seabirds behave. And I know for a fact that seagull does not want... He has just taken it! What? Come back! Careful, Go. Charlie! Cool, Fireman Sam! Sam, I'm sorry I had to get you out on Neptune. That's all right, Charlie. It was good to be able to show Sarah an ocean rescue. It was great. So exciting. Shame it had to be because my dad fell in the water. Here's your captain back, Hannah. Thanks, Penny. Right. Is there anything more I can do to help Charlie? You haven't got a spare sausage sandwich, have you? 
Uh, funnily enough, Bronwyn made one for me this morning. <laughs> Go! You see, Norman, when you paint windows, you always start with the upstairs windows first. Do you know what that is, Norman? No, Mike. So that if you drip any paint from the upstairs windows, it doesn't land on the windows that you've just painted downstairs. I thought Mrs Chen's job was boring, but this is like watching paint dry. I'll have you know, that's a very responsible job you've got there, Norman. Oh, oh there's my packed lunch. <gasps> I've got a chocolate bar in there. <laughs> nearly, nearly. Got you. <laughs> Looks like Mike Flood's in trouble again. Do you want to press the siren, Sarah? <gasps> yes, please, Fireman Sam. <laughs> Hang on, Mike. I'll be there in no time. Now watch this, Sarah. I can't hold on much longer. Nearly there. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Bring us down, Penny. Well, Norman, I hope you're enjoying Learn About Jobs Day. Not really, Fireman Sam. All I've done is hold a ladder and got my chocolate bar covered in paint. Don't you worry, young Norman. Next, I'll be showing you how to fix a sump pump. Oh, no. There you are, Penny. Venus is all tuned up and ready to go. Thanks, Joe. She runs like a dream now. Come on then, firefighter Sarah. I'll show you how to use a floppy shovel next. Brilliant! Oh, I really love being a firefighter. See you back at the station, Penny. OK, Sam. Right, young Mandy. Let's make a mechanic out of you. Oh, it's my mum's car. Yes, Mandy, it certainly is. And I'm very honoured that she's entrusted me with her vehicle. What's wrong with it, Joe? Nothing much, Mandy. Just needs an oil change. Right, let's go. No, no, no. Hold your horses, Mandy. We can't just rush in. We've got to do a few checks first. A mechanic always makes sure all the wheels are on the car lift platform, the handbrake is on and all the doors are shut. Now, let's lift her up. Ooh, I can see underneath. The most important thing you have to learn when you're a mechanic is care for the cars that you're repairing. You always treat them with the utmost respect. Um, Joe, you did put the handbrake on, didn't you? Uh. Only, it's rolling off. Hi, Joe. Just came to collect my car. Oh! I might need to have it a little bit longer, Helen. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. You all had a really good learn about jobs day. Yeah, it was brill. The best. It was rubbish. Be quiet, Norman Price. You can't tell me to be quiet, James. I can, Norman, because I'm a teacher in training. And it's Mr. Jones to you. But th th that is so unfair. Mr. Jones got the best job. But you didn't want to be with Mrs. Chen. That was before I spent the day with Mike Flood. I heard that, Norman. Welcome to my world. I heard that, Mandy. Well, there's one job left that James has to do, and I'm sure he won't mind if you do it, Norman. Of course I won't, Mrs. Chen. Yes! 
So, what easy peasy teacher job do I have to do, Mrs. Chen? Just collect up everyone's reports, Norman. No problemo. Here, you can have mine first, Norman. Ah. Oh, it's stuck to the paint on my hand. Oh, no, it's stuck to this hand as well. Fireman Sam, I've left my report in Jupiter. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll get it for you. Here's mine, Norman. Get it off! I can't see! Careful, Norman! <sighs> Looks like you'll get to see one more rescue today, Sarah. Help! Hang on, Norman! I'm on my way! Help! I can't see! Hope you all learned something today. I learned that I want to be a firefighter, just like Fireman Sam. So do I. Well. Oh, I learned that I definitely don't want to be a handyman or a teacher. We, we heard, heard that, that Norman, Norman Price. Price. <laughs> <laughs> right, Norman. Are we ready to start filming? Some safety show. Yes, Mandy. I'm going to be the best television presenter ever. Co-presenter, cool don't you mean Norman Price? Fireman Sam's the main presenter. I know, but I'm going to be really good. They'll want me to be on real television after this. Right then, let's get started. And three, two, one, action! <clears throat> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Fireman Sam's safety show. Yeah! And here he is, everyone's favourite fireman. Uh, oh, oh <laughs> it's very kind of you, Norman Price. <laughs> yes. Not you, Station Officer Steele. I'm talking about Fireman Sam. We're filming his show. Oh, uh, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, very well. I'll uh, just go and drink my tea over here. As you were. As I was saying, welcome to Fireman Sam's safety show. And here he is, everyone's favourite fireman, Fireman Sam! Uh, he hello, everybody. So, Fireman Sam, tell everyone at home what's coming up on Fireman Sam's safety show! Uh, uh, <clears throat> well, Norman, uh, we'll be demonstrating how to leave the house in the case of a fire. Uh, we've got a quiz, a song... And we'll be chatting to the people of Pontypandy about their favourite safety tips. So, what's your favourite safety tip, Fireman Sam? Oh, well, uh, my favourite safety tip has to be always ask your parents to check that their smoke alarm is working. Good idea, Fireman Sam. <gasps> Mom! Fireman Sam says you need to check your smoke alarm! But first, this. Safety tips, safety tips, safety, safety, safety tips with Sam. Here's our droving reporter, Penny Morris, with Ponty Pandy's top safety tips. So, Moose Roberts, man of the mountains, what's your favourite safety tip? Well, Penny, when you're in the woods, always keep an eye out for grizzly bears. Uh, Moose. And if you see one... Moose. What? We don't get grizzly bears in Ponty Pandy. Oh, yeah. Right then. Here's a good safety tip. If you're out in the countryside, don't light campfires. And if you have a barbecue, make sure it's out before you leave it, eh? And if a grizzly bear... Thanks, Moose. Lovely. So, Helen, as Ponty Pandy's resident nurse, what would your top safety tip be? My top safety tip is never leave toys on the stairs. They could cause a nasty accident. Oh, hello. I'm on TV. <laughs> uh, oh. oh, no. Oh, I've sat on me green on. <laughs> and always watch where you're going. Thanks, Helen. So, as a fellow firefighter, Elvis, do you have a top safety tip? Oh, yes, Penny. Can you tell us what it is? Oh, <laughs> yes. Sorry, Penny. Um, uh, my top safety tip 
would be to always stay away from ironing boards. Irons are very heavy and can be hot. And, oh, 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 and they can burn your trousers. Oh, no. You'll be able to see my bottom through that. And finally, it's over to Fireman Sam for another top safety tip. Learn how to call the fire service so you know what to do if there's an emergency. Thanks, Fireman Sam. Action! Now it's time to look at safety in the home. Uh, over here, you'll find James in his bedroom. Um, Uncle Sam, this isn't my bedroom. It's got flowery curtains. We know it's not your real bedroom, James. It's just a set. We're doing a reconstruction, so you'll have to pretend. Okay, but I don't want this teddy bear in here. I'm not a baby, you know. <laughs> uh, okay, James, you can get rid of the teddy bear. Now, are you ready? Yes, Uncle Sam. Now, in case of fire, you need to know where all your exits are so you can escape safely. Right, James, pretend there's a fire and show the children at home how you'd get out. Okay, Uncle. Uh, I mean, Fireman Sam. Ah! James, sorry, Station Officer Steele. Fireman Sam said to pretend there was a fire. Yeah, I, I did, James. But, but that's not what you do if there's a real fire, isn't it? Oh no, James. Uh, panicking can get you into lots of trouble. But don't worry. I'm sure Fireman Sam will talk you through it. Indeed, I can. As soon as you know that there's a fire, stay calm. Oh, stay calm. Right, Fireman Sam. Now, think about where all your exits are. You should always know two ways you can get out, just in case there's an emergency. Oh, two ways. Um, I could get out of the window or the door. That's right, James. But you should always escape through the safest way possible. Well, the door would be safer than the window. It would, as long as you can escape without going too close to the fire and keep as low as you can if there's a lot of smoke. The lower down you are, the more air there is to breathe. Ah, oh, thanks, Fireman Sam. And never go back inside a burning building for anything. <clears throat> there you go. Beat the bell, beat the bell. Now it's time to beat the bell. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Beat the Bell, the part of the show where we get a member of the Pontypanda public to spot three hazards in the home before the bell goes. Oh, that sounds really good fun. Which member of the Pontypanda public is it, Sam? It's everyone's favourite shopkeeper and your mum, Dillis Price. Oh, no. I thought it would be someone exciting. You be quiet, Norman Price. So, good luck, and let's beat the bell! Um, oh, uh, oh, they can't see anything! Mom, look at the kettle! No, Norman, there's no time for a cup of tea! No, look at the wire! Someone could pull the kettle over by mistake! Oh, yes, Norman, that looks dangerous! That's one! Well done, Dillis! Now, Look for the next one. Oh! Oh! The cuddly toy! Oh! Isn't that cute, Norman? You used to have one like that when you were little. Actually, you still have it, because I think I've got it up Mom! Oh! Wait! It shouldn't be near the fire! Correct! That's the second one, Dillis. One more to go. You've got five seconds to beat the oh, bell. Uh, um, oh! Ah! The handle on that pan should be... Oh! Oh! Ah, don't worry, Dillis. You've started so you can finish. The pan handle shouldn't be sticking out. Yes! Well done, Dillis. You identified all three dangers. Hooray <laughs> for my mum! So, just a reminder, always put your electrical wires out of harm's way to avoid accidents in the home. Never put anything near or on top of a fire or heater. It may cause a fire. 
Always remember to turn saucepan handles to the side, or better still, to the back, so they don't get knocked over. And that's how to stay safe in the home. And now to end our show, here's Elvis, Mike and the Criddling Tonettes to sing and dance us out with a song about fire safety. Right, this is a song about what to do if your clothes catch fire. So, my Criddling Tonettes, what do you do if your clothes catch fire? You stop running, then you drop to the ground. That's right. Then what do you do? Then you cover up your face to protect it. And roll around the floor to put out the fire. That's right, Criddling Tonettes. So, are you ready to rock and roll? Yes, Elvis! Great. Then hit it, Mike. Hey kids, your home is a really safe place But there's something I need to say just in case You need to think ahead and you need to prepare In case something sets fire to what you wear You've got to stop, drop, cover and roll You've got to stop, drop, cover and roll You've got to stop, drop and cover and roll If you want to put it out oh, Stop! If you run you make the flames grow higher Drop! To the ground if your clothes are on fire Cover! Your face when you're lying on the floor Now roll around the ground till the fire's no more You've, You've got, got to stop, stop drop, cover, cover and roll You've got to stop, drop, cover and roll You've got to stop, drop, cover and roll If you want to put it out oh. And that's all we have time for on Fireman Sam's Safety Show So take care and come back soon And see us all in Ponty Pandy <laughs> when he hears that fire alarm, Sam is always cool and calm. <laughs> if you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, big way for Fireman Sam. Cause he's gonna save the day. Fireman Sam, cause he's brave to the core. Sam is the hero next door. If there's trouble, he'll be there. Underground or in the air. <laughs> Fireman Sam and all the crew. They'll be there to rescue you. To move aside, make way for Fireman Sam. Cause he's gonna save the day. Fireman Sam, cause he's raised to the door. Sam is the hero next door! Hello, I'm Fireman Sam, and today we're going to be learning about fire safety with my Ponty Pandy friends, Joe and Hannah. Yes, I'm Joe Sparks, and today I'll be looking at the science behind smoke alarms. Smoke alarms are very important. They can warn you of danger before a fire gets out of control. Say, for example, if this candle got knocked over. It won't get knocked over, will it, Dad? Don't be silly, Hannah. It's just there to illustrate the point. OK, Dad. Just show the people at home how you can test your smoke alarm. There are a number of ways to test a smoke alarm. I'm going to be using the match method. Or you could just press the test button here. I oh, know what I'm doing, love. Now, the smoke from my recently extinguished match causes alpha radiation that ionises the air pump. Oh! And that's what it sounds like when you test your smoke alarm. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And it sounds exactly the same when it goes off for real. So, make sure you have a smoke alarm fitted and remember to test it regularly. Hello, everybody. I'm Fireman Sam, and today we're going to be learning all about road safety. With Norman Man and the Tommy Boy! I am Norman Man, and I'm going to teach you all about crossing the road safely. I'm going to do it quickly before Atomic Boy gets here and ruins it all. Mom! I need to help you cross the road! But 
There are three things you need to remember when crossing the road. You have to stop, look, and listen. First, you stop by the edge of the curb, then you look both ways. And listen. Ah. And when you're sure it's safe, you can cross the road, making sure to keep looking and listening. Norman Man, you started without me. Too late, Atomic Boy. We've nearly finished. No, you haven't. You can do it again with me in it this time. Come on, Mrs. Price. Mrs. Grandma. <laughs> oh, Trevor, I think you might need to rescue me. So, let's do this properly. When you cross the road, always cross with an adult. Stop on the pavement near the curb. Then you look and listen in both directions. And when you're sure it's safe, you can cross the road. But you must keep looking and listening all the time you're crossing the road. Well done, team. We're the Junior Cadets. Never leave anything on the stairs, as someone could trip on it and fall down the stairs. As Mandy will now demonstrate, you should not do this at home. Oh, no! Oh, ah! oh! And you shouldn't leave anything at the bottom of the stairs either. I'm fine! Thanks, team. Electricity. It's great. It helps us make cups of tea. It helps us cook our dinner. Mm. And it helps us see when it gets dark. But water and electricity don't mix. So, never touch anything electrical with wet hands. Never leave drinks on or too close to electrical items. And never take any plugged-in electrical items into the bathroom or near any water. Or you could get a very nasty electric shock. So, be safe and remember, electricity and water don't mix. Hello! I am Norman Man! And I'm Atomic Boy! And today... I will be protecting the citizens of Pontypandy from railway danger. And so will I. Not as much as me. Railway tracks can be very dangerous. I was going to say that. Uh, so always stay away from railway tracks. <laughs> By standing back from the edge of the platform. And it's also a good idea not to push and shove on a railway platform too. Sorry, Sorry, Fireman Sam. Sam. Don't worry, Sam. I will keep the citizens a safe distance away. So, remember, citizens, always take care near railway tracks. Wait, that's my train. Wait for me. Wait for me. Hello, everybody. I'm Fireman Sam. And today, we're going to be learning all about road safety. With Norman Man! And Atomic Boy! Hello, citizens. I am Norman Man! And I am Atomic Boy! And today, we're going to be teaching you all Norman about... Norman Price! You are not going anywhere without putting your crash helmet on. But, Mom, we're doing a road safety film for Fireman Sam and you're spoiling it! I've got my helmet on, Mrs. Price. Oh, yes. And very dashing you look, too, James. I'm not James. I'm Atomic Boy. And I'm Norman Man. And Norman Man doesn't wear a helmet when he's driving the Norman Man Mobile. Well, then, he doesn't get to drive the Norman Man Mobile. At Mom! Heroes don't wear helmets. Come on, team. This way. Or maybe they do. Ba, 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 ba. Norman Man to the rescue! And Atomic Boy! So remember, citizens, stay safe! Ah! 
Ouch! And heroes always wear helmets. I'm James. I'm Sarah. I'm Mandy. And I'm Norman. And, and we're, we're the, the Junior Cadets. Cadets. And today, the Junior Cadets will be teaching us something very important about fire safety. OK, Norman. For today's safety tip, you have to say which one of these things you shouldn't play with. Is it a toy car, some building blocks or a box of matches? That's easy. The building blocks, cos they're for babies. No, Norman. Think again. Um... The car, cos it looks like a really slow one. Only James would play with that. No, Norman. It's a fire safety tip. What do you think it might be? Fairy, fairy, flamey, flamey. Ah, but I wanted to play with the matches. We could have played pick-up sticks. No, Norman. You should never play with matches, and they should always be kept in a safe place. I knew that, really. Thanks, team. Hi, we're the wild men of Ponty Pandy. And today, we're at the beach. Hi, Moose. Tom, everything OK? Yes, Sam. Um, we're just teaching everyone about outdoor water safety. Whenever you go paddling, make sure you never turn your back to the sea. And sometimes a big wave can knock you over. Watch out, Tom! Whoa! That was close. It's all right, Sam. All under control. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, I swallowed a lot of seawater. Drink, Tom? Oh, yeah. Yes, please, mate. I'm James. I'm Sarah. I'm Mandy. And I'm Norma. And, and we're, we're the, the Junior Cadets. Cadets. And today, the Junior Cadets will be teaching us something very important about barbecue safety. Today is Ponty Pandy Barbecue Day. Now, barbecues can be lots of fun, but they can also be dangerous. Firstly, you must always leave lighting a barbecue to an adult. Hey, Trevor, better get my lit before you. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. And always remember to keep your barbecue a safe distance from trees, bushes or anything else that might catch fire. There you go. And always make sure you've put your barbecue on a flat surface so it stays in place once it's lit. There. No wobbling or rolling. The perfect place to put a barbecue. Oh, no. My sausages are rolling away. Uncle Sam! Look out! It's all right. I've got it. I think it's going to be a long day. We're the wild men of Ponty Pandy. And today, we're going to be teaching you about outdoor water safety. Never get too close to the water if you haven't got an adult with you. Moose is an adult. And I'm safe and sound. Oh, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh. And always wear something to protect your feet. There can be sharp things like rocks under the water that you can't see. Plaster Tom. I'm James. I'm Sarah. I'm Mandy. And I'm Norman. And, and we're, we're the Junior Cadets. And today, the Junior Cadets will be teaching us all about safety around the swimming pool. Remember to always walk when you're at the swimming pool. Never run. Sarah and James will demonstrate. Never run. Go on, you two. This is silly, Norman. Everyone knows what walking looks like. I bet I can walk faster than you. And not. Ow! Oh. Do you think that's fast? Remember, no running. Don't worry, Uncle Sam. We won't run. Go on, James! You're in the lead! Push my friend into the water. Yeah? 
And what else aren't you supposed to do, Norman? You're not supposed to push anyone into the water. Sorry, Sam. Sorry, Sarah. Sorry, James. So remember, walk. Don't run because you might slip. And no pushing either. Thanks, team. Hi, we're the wild men of Ponty Pandy. And today, we're going to be teaching you about outdoor water safety. If you go paddling, you have to be very careful. You're not joking there, mate. Sometimes the water can get deep very suddenly. <laughs> Remember, take care paddling and only go in the water if you have a responsible grown-up with you. I'm James. I'm Sarah. And today, the, the Junior, Junior Cadets, Cadets will be teaching us something very important about barbecue safety. Today, we're at the Ponty Candy Barbecue Day, and we're here to tell you about keeping a safe distance. Norman, what are you doing? Getting everyone to keep a safe distance from the barbecue. Duh! Keep back! Beefy, 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 Beefy belly bushes look like charcoal charcoal loops. I'll just leave my bottle on his landing. Luckily, I brought some extra supplies. Oh no. I'll just leave it in my bottle. Irons are very useful. They can take the creases out of your trousers and make you look smart for parade. <laughs> But irons can also be very dangerous. Tag! You're it! Wait! Dad's just done some ironing! Oh no! Irons are really heavy, and you can trip on the wire and pull them onto you if you're not careful. And they stay hot for a very long time, even if they've been switched off. Dad! What is it, you two? Tag! You're it! And you've forgotten something! Oh dear! I think I'd better make this safe and then play tag. Coming! So be safe and don't play near irons. And remember, irons can stay hot for a long time, even after they've been switched off. I'm James. I'm Sarah. I'm Mandy. And I'm we're the Junior Cadets! And today, my cadets will be talking to us about safety in the kitchen. Roll up, roll up! Come and see our Daredevil safety tip! I don't like Daredevil things. Don't worry, James. The power's been turned off and there's nothing in the pants. It's completely safe! Don't oh, spoil it, Sarah. It would be dangerous if it was real. Anyway... <sighs> When your mum or dad is cooking, they should always turn the pan handles to the side. But sometimes they might forget. Is it time for the daredevil bit yet? OK, Norman. I will now put one of the handles into the dangerous position. Drum roll, please. Oh, I can't look. When the pans are this way round, they can easily be pulled down and you could burn yourself. So if the pans are like this, stay away from them and tell a grown-up. Ow! Ow! My toe! I told you it was dangerous! Always be careful in the kitchen and stay away from hot pans. If a pan handle is sticking out, ask a grown-up to move it. I'm Fireman Sam, 
And today, we're going to be talking about being safe with candles. And my trusty assistant, Norman Price, will be helping me. Hello, everybody. Today, it's my mum's birthday, and we need to light the candles on her birthday cake. So, what do we need to remember before we light any of the candles, Norman? To taste the cake and make sure it hasn't gone stale. Um, that's not a real cake, Norman. We made a pretend one. <laughs> I don't like pretend cake. So, what do we need to remember about candle safety then, Norman? <laughs> um, number one, make sure the candles are secure and won't fall over. That's right, Norman. Now, time to light them. <laughs> number two, always get a grown-up to light candles for you and never play with matches. Ah! Thank you, Penny. And there's only one more thing for you to remember. Take the cake to my mum! Stop! Number three, never move a lit candle. Ah! I'm moving a lit candle! I'm moving a lit candle! Uh -oh. Number four, never let Norman Price near a lit birthday cake. And that's Fireman Sam's top safety tips for candles. Hello, I'm Fireman Sam, and today we're going to be learning about fire safety with Joe and Hannah. And today, Joe and Hannah will be showing you why you, you should, should never, never overload, overload a, a socket. This is a socket, and usually you'll just put one plug into each socket. But sometimes you need to put more than one plug into one socket. Which is fine if you use one of these. But whatever you use, as far as electricity goes, always ask an adult to do it for you. You see, each socket has a maximum power allowance based on the amperages and wattages of the particular appliances in question. Dad? You see, here I've plugged in too many things just to show how dangerous it can be. Dad, that really doesn't look safe. Relax, Hannah. I know what I'm doing. Oh, look. Sam's remote control Jupiter is fully charged now. Wow! Look at it go! Don't look at that, Dad. Look at all the plugs. There's still too many things plugged in. That's why you should never overload a socket. When he hears that fire alarm, Sam is always cool and calm. If you start, give him a shout. He'll be 